What is up guys, welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed 2, this is episode number 6, I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far, thank you so damn much for your support man, and without further ado, we're going to dive straight back in, so it looks like we need to do a mission up here, let's, uh, let's continue on with the campaign. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, hey. Hey, Ezio. I see you wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> Jeez, man. Come, it's you. Walk with me. Okay. Yes, Alrighty, a change of plans. Learn about the villa and discover the codex pages hidden there. Okay. So I can't remember this mission, I think. Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe. And leader of the Templar Order. Okay. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes. And he will kill you too, given the chance. Okay. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco De Pazzi will share the fate of his son. Nice, this guy. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right, that's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. Okay. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Alrighty, where are we going? Read the letter. Are we going upstairs? I think we might be going up here. Are we going up here? No, we're going in here. Are we going in here? Yeah, we are going in here. With Uncle Mario, okay. What's good, Uncle? Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Kind of map. Okay. Is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Oh, okay. They let me okay. help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. Okay. So we're going back to Florence, uh, which is pretty cool. That means we're going to go back to the city where we was originally hunted. Okay, so we need to find some codex pages first, I believe. Um, and I think they're laying around Montalegione. So we're going to need to go to the viewpoint of the villa, uh, which shouldn't be too difficult. Ezio's parkour skills are going to make things a little bit easy for us. Let's go. Up we go. Straight forward as hell. And here we go. Okay, right. Let's synchronize this bad boy. This game is so old and it still holds up so damn well. If there's any other games you guys would like to see me play on the channel, I know Grand Theft Auto V is being thrown around quite a bit by you guys at the moment. If that's something you guys would like to see, I am game, man. I am so down for that. But here we go. There is a codex page literally over here. We're just going to go ahead and grab. Uh, I think it is. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right, let's loot this. It's just chilling here out of nowhere. Just, you know, just, just chilling. But there we go. Codex page acquired. Now, I do think there are two more, maybe. Uh, maybe even three. Okay, yeah, three more. So we're going to go to the uh, town. And uh, we're going to go and find these bad boys. Shouldn't take us too long, actually, seeing that they're all pretty close by. I would usually make a cut for stuff like this, but seeing that Assassin's Creed usually puts things closer together than, like, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, it shouldn't be too difficult. It is literally, literally just here. I said literally twice there, but there we go. Landed straight on it. Let's go. Another Codex page right for us there. Let's go. Okay, there's another one. So I think there are two more. Um, okay, there's one in the city wall and one outside, so I'm probably going to get the one in the city wall and then I will probably make a cut for the one outside because it will take a little bit longer and I don't want to waste all my freaking video uh, running around trying to grab codex pages. We want to be an assassin, man. We want to go and take out targets. 
I know uh, we can't be doing that every single episode, as it would be a little bit repetitive, but there you go. Nice guy. We're almost there. Drop down. I think it is just under here. If I'm right, we're going to find out. There it is. This guy. The codex page has been found. Number three. Let's go. Okay, so we need to go out to the front, grab a horse, and then we get the next one, and then head back. Okay, so we are here. It's not actually that long if you have a horse, but here you go. We are here. Let's grab at this last codex page and uh, hopefully continue on with the story. Uh, okay, so we're four out of four. Let's go. I don't know if we have to put them on the board. I'm not too sure, but let's go. Let's get on this horse and uh, let's get out of here. Let's go. So, codex pages. The code in the... Okay, I was about to read that, but, you know, we got rudely interrupted. So, it isn't actually that far. I thought it was going to be a lot farther than this, but it's all good. We can literally just ride back. Now, we need to go and see Claudia. Now, Claudia is our sister, and uh, things have been not great for them recently. If you guys remember, the family got absolutely destroyed, and uh, I think the only surviving members of their, like, tiny little bloodline is Ezio... The mother, um, which I can't remember her name, and Claudia. Obviously, we've got Uncle Mario, but if we're talking about the circle with like Ezio, his sister, and his brothers, and his dad, they're all dead. Like it's literally Ezio and his sister that remain out of that bloodline. Obviously, the mother as well. But yeah, let's rock and roll. We're gonna go and check on her. Hopefully, everything is all good, and uh, we can get back to Florence. I don't know if we're gonna be able to in this video. Uh, it would be kind of nice, but um, is she in? I think she might be in here. Claudia, yeah, there she is. Okay, let's go. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un mostro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? <laughs> Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And okay. since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Okay. Alrighty, what should we renovate? Uh, let's go with... Or can we even renovate? Okay, no, we can't renovate anything yet. Okay, so we need to get our architect to be able to do that, I believe. And here he is right here, just literally speaking about you, buddy. What is good? I can't, I can't interact. Why well, can't I interact with you? Buongiorno. No, I can't. There's something wrong. Yes, sir, Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. Okay. And if someone brought you money... Uh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Ser Ezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, <laughs> I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just okay. bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. Alrighty. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. Hey, that's if good. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, okay. when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Okay, so, we need to renovate the town. Let's go to start things off with, we're going to go for the blacksmith, because obviously there we can get a lot of weapons... But that is a lot of money. 7,000 florins. Uh, and we don't have a lot, to be honest. Um, let's go with the bank. If we can. I'm pretty much going to spend all my money here, to be honest. Just trying to renovate. We've got four, four, uh, four florins. Not great. Okay. There we go. We renovated the blacksmith, though. And the, um, the bank. So that's all good. Hopefully that will attract more people to the town. But here we go. Monteregioni's value is now 6,000 florins. Here we go, Uncle Mario. Ezio, my boy. What is good? I think it's time I showed you something. Oh, hidden bookcase, baby, let's go. So this episode has, for the most part, been pretty slow-paced. Um, it's just been like kind of showing us what to do in Montalagione. Uh, I do think we go back to Firenze later on in the story, I do believe. 
here we go. Let's continue on. I will try and make this a longer video so we do get some action. But so far, man, all it has been really is renovating the shops. And codex pages. Okay, we are here. So this is like a this hidden library, I believe. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor yeah. the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. Okay. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. We need that armor. Give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. Okay. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought these six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. Fingers crossed. So basically you need to kill, you need to complete a tomb to be able In to get that. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Oh, I will. That armor is the best armor in the game, I believe, so we kinda need to get our hands on that. Um, but okay, we need to go to the next mission. I think eventually we're going to end up going back to Florence. I don't actually know when. I think in a minute. Uh, I could be wrong. I probably am. But it looks like we need to go ahead and do a mission outside of the walls, maybe? I don't actually know. Maybe we are going back to Florence. Yeah, we are. We are. Okay, so I'm going to get back there and we're going to see what's good. Okay, so here we go, man. We are back in Florence. And hopefully things have calmed down since we last left. Uh, last, I can't speak. Last left. It's super early in the morning. I've not long been awake. <laughs> but here we go. We are here back in our hometown. Good old Ezio returns. Let's go. Let's see what's good. I do think we're going to be uh, doing some assassin shit, to be honest. But uh, let's rock and roll. I think we need to take them codex pages to our good friend Leonardo. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing here. Let's go. Knock on the door. How are we doing, buddy? Hopefully the guards still aren't pestering you. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. It's been two years? But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Ha ha! You found another one. How exciting! Hey. Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, okay. what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? <laughs> of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Okay, what are we actually doing? Practice what you preach. Practice the new several assassination techniques with Leonardo. Okay, so what the hell? So we're getting to learn new techniques, new ways to kill. Okay. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so I think, yeah, we got an air assassination, assassination from a ledge, and assassination from a bale of hay, I believe. We got a new health square as well. Okay, so we got a new little bit of health. That's nice. Okay, right, so start it off. Let's go. Boom. There's one. Okay, so now we've got some more. I think we've killed him already. Let's go and take out the rest. Alright, up we go. Let's see. We need to kill this motherfucker from a ledge. There's two. And then last one, I believe, is just off a ledge. So if we climb this. And then we go over. And then down. Kaboom. Let's go. So it's done and dusted. We are taking out all of the target dummies, I guess you could say. Now we need to go back to his workshop. Okay, Leonardo, we have done the kind of assault course, I guess you could say. <laughs> and now what is good? I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Hey. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. A fox. Shh. Apisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. 
Okay, so we've just got two hidden blades now, so now, double trouble, let's go. So we're going to go to the next mission, I'm doing quite a few missions in this episode, I want to make it kind of a longer video to be honest, but here we go, let's climb up here, try and find the Volpe, and see what's good, practice what you preach has been uh, complete, and now we have two hidden blades, which is freaking awesome. So let's go, let's go ahead and try and use them in this video, I don't know if we actually will, because we have to meet La Volpe, and I think La Volpe... I can't actually remember what he does. I know he's like a thief. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and find him. Oh, there's guards up here. Maybe we will use these hidden blades. Shut the hell up. Let's go. Alrighty. Let's rock and roll. So he's literally just here. I think. In the Volpe? Maybe he's not here. I don't know. I don't know. What do I know anymore? <laughs> Alright, down we go. So here is the mission. Okay, Fox Hunt. Locate La Volpe. Somewhere near the Mercato Vecchio. I think I said that right. Probably not. But there you go. Alright, we need that eagle vision for this task. Here we go. Where the hell is he? I can see a load of guards. There he is. Get out of the way, man. Let's go. What? Oh, no. He took the money. I don't have your money. <laughs> Come here, you fucker. Get back here. We got him? Oh, we got him straight away, baby. Let's go. Wait, I what? I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer. Tagliagole. Thief. But you may call me La Volpe. Hey. At your service, Mr. Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Ma certo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Let's go, man. Let's go now. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. We've got literally four pounds in there, man. We've got four freaking florins. Okay, now we haven't. We've got a lot more money now. But uh, we did have only four florins. Let's go ahead. We might as well do this mission here and continue on. Follow me. But we must move fast. Think you can keep up? I don't know. Okay, so here we go. See you there. This is what we're going to be doing. Let's see how we get on. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, he's a very good climber. He looks like an old man. He is not moving like an old man does. Let's go. Let's see how climb. You've got to kind of show yourself that you can do it. There we go. Okay, I kept up there. <laughs> what are you doing back there? <laughs> I said to keep up with me. Oh, God damn it, Lavolpe. Don't be a dick. Let's go. Oh, what? We got a race? Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Then I slip and fall. I have a feeling I'm going to fuck this up. Okay, let's go. Oh, dude, come on. 100 meters. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, come on. We got 30 seconds. 39 seconds. Basically 40. We've got 63 meters to go. Come on. Okay, I see where we need to be. Go, go, go. Okay, Ezio, you are free running very, very slowly, bro. Just saying. 22 seconds. Okay, we got this, baby. We got it. Let's go. <laughs> He's exhausted. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. Okay. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip okay. that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Mm. Buona fortuna. Okay, alrighty. So what I'm going to do, guys, is end today's video here. Thank you so damn much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, smash that like button, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you for more Assassin's Creed 2 next time. Stealth some guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you all again in the next video.